This is amazing. Now we are going to see about Ragas. It is a framework to evaluate RAG application. You are able to effectively test the retrieval system, the answer generation system, testing your large language models and embeddings models in regards to RAG application. Ragas mainly focus on two main things. One is generation. That is when a large language model generate a response. Second, retrieval. That's when the relevant information is searched from the database and provided as context to the large language model. In simple terms, the first step in RAG application is to ingest the data. So the data, for example, a PDF or a text file is ingested, then it's divided into chunks. Those chunks are converted to embeddings and stored in the database. Now, when the user asks a question, relevant information is retrieved from the database and sent as context to the large language model. And finally, the large language model will generate the response. So how effective the retrieval system is to retrieve relevant context and how effective the answer generator is related or is more relevant to the question asked by the user. So we can test two things. One is retrieval and generation. Retrieval is more related to embedding model which we use and generation is more related to the large language model use. So in this way, you can test your large language model using Ragas and also you can test your embeddings model or your whole retrieval system using Ragas. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Ragas. It is an evaluation framework for your retrieval augmented generation pipelines. It's very easy to install and we can start our testing straight away. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So in regards to Ragas, there's four different things which we need to focus on. One is the question, that is the question which the user is going to ask. Next, the ground truth. What is the real answer? So these question and ground truth will be provided as the input. So this answer and the context will be generated by the models. The answer will be generated by the large language model. The context will be generated during the time of retrieval and also used with embeddings model. So the first step, we need to have a question and ground truth. That is the real answer. With those two things, we are going to evaluate these two answer and context. So now I'm going to show you a basic example with all these four components. In your terminal, pip install ragas and then click enter. Next from datasets, import dataset. Next importing OS, import evaluate from ragas, then faithfulness, answer correctness from ragas metrics. Now we are going to provide a sample data. So this is a sample data which contains the question, answer, context, and ground truth. In this example, I've already provided all the four information to make this easy for beginners to understand. But generally, these two things, answer and context, are generated when you run the application. For example, answer is generated using a large language model, and the context is retrieved when using a retrieval tool. So this will be the final output when you run any RAG application. Every RAG application will have the question, the answer, and the context. So we are going to evaluate against the ground truth and identify how effective this RAG application is. Now next step, initiating the dataset and providing the data samples. Next score equals evaluate and providing the dataset. Here we are going to calculate faithfulness and answer correctness. So what is faithfulness and answer correctness? So faithfulness is the factual consistency of the generated answer against the given context. So we are comparing the answer and the context. Is the answer generated is in line with the context. That is a measurement. So here's an example. When and where was Einstein born? And here you can see he was born on 14th of March. So if the large language model use this context perfectly and generate the accurate response, that is 14th of March, that means it has a high faithfulness score. If it respond with incorrect answer, not even considering the context, then it is low faithfulness. So that is a quick example in regards to faithfulness. Next, what is answer correctness? It is the accuracy of the generated answer when compared to the ground truth. So it's just comparing the answer with the ground truth. So once after the answer got generated by the large language model, we are comparing that with the ground truth. That is a real correct answer. So if these two match with each other, then that answer correctness 
score is going to be high. So here is an example. Ground truth is that Einstein was born in 1879 in Germany. So high answer correctness is when the large language model uses the context and provides the correct answer. It is a low answer correctness if the answer generated is completely wrong. So now we are going to see how we can implement this in code. So this is where we provide the metrics. Next, we are going to save that in pandas data frame and finally saving that score in a CSV file. That's it. So literally, we got all the data, which means the question, answer, context, and ground truth. Using that information, we are going to evaluate both large language model and also embedding model in regards to retrieval system. Here, we are evaluating the metrics. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. Now export OpenAI API key like this on your terminal and then click enter. Next, Python app.py and then click enter. Now the evaluation starts and the evaluation is complete now. Now I'm going to open the score.csv file. That's where our final score got saved. And here's the final score. The question is, when was the first super bowl? And the launch language model gave this as the answer with Jan 15, 1967. So even in the context, you can see it's Jan 15, 1967. Using that information, we now evaluated with the ground truth. That is the actual answer. So comparing to that, you can see the faithfulness score is one and the answer correctness is 0.74. You can see the faithfulness as one because the ground truth and the context is in line. So the large language model used the context and correctly generated the response. So faithfulness is generated answer against the context. So this is the generated answer, this is the context. And when compared, it is in line with the ground truth. Similarly for answer correctness is compared with the generated answer and the ground truth. So that is generated answer and the ground truth. So for the next question, who won the most Super Bowls? And the answer generated was the New England Patriots. But if you see the context, there's nothing written about the New England Patriots, which means the retrieval system or the embedding model is not as effective. That's why the faithfulness score is zero and the answer correctness is 0.731. The reason why the answer correctness is 0.7 is because the large language model has its own knowledge. So it used its own knowledge to respond correctly, saying that the answer is the New England Patriots, which is correct. So this is a quick introduction in regards to Ragas. I'm going to dive deep in further with much more examples. This will be really useful if you want to evaluate your large language model or your embedding model in regards to your RAG application. As you can see here, there are different metrics such as answer relevance, context precision, context relevancy, context recall, context entities recall, answer semantic similarity, aspect critique. Also, when you see this data, how are you going to generate this data? For example, this question and this ground truth should be there by default. Only with these two information, we are able to evaluate the generated response. But how can you do that? Ragas has its own system to generate the question and the ground truth automatically based on the provided data. So you provide any data, Ragas can automatically generate the question and ground truth. With that information, we can evaluate our RAG application when it generates answers and context, which I'll be covering in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.